Hey Wanderers, prepared to wander out in the woods today. It is St. Patty's Day 2019 and uh, you're going to be watching some video today on some new products I just picked up this week and I wanted to show them to you. Uh, they're kind of cool. Uh, first thing we're going to look at today is a couple of man-made fire starters. and. Um, I always like to carry man-made fire starters in my kit with me just in case. I mean, you just never know when you're in a situation where you're having trouble getting a fire started. And you're cold, you're wet, maybe the wood is wet, um, whatever, and you need a little help. And there's nothing wrong with having a little help and, and cheating a little bit sometimes. You don't always have to do it, uh, you know, the whole natural way. So today we're going to look at fire strip roll which I have no experience with, I've never used this before, but it looks like a very interesting product. And then the other thing we're going to look at is Waxwood Stick, another product I don't have any experience with. So, two new products, going to check them out, see how they ignite, um, see how long they burn, and see if they're going to be worth having in my kit or not. So this is going to be the first test of them today, so stick around. Also got a new knife today that I'm going to show you. This is um, from a company called Fortis. It's um, it's just a one-man knife shop. Uh, he makes some really nice blades, and he sent me this beautiful little neck knife. I believe this is called a Koshaken. Koshaken. Um, it's it's patterned off of the old trade knives from the fur fur trade days. And it's definitely going to be a great knife, um, I think, for hunting. It's a convex blade, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, it should be great for, uh, you know, cleaning game, cutting up meat in camp, uh, just doing small chores. And the leather sheath with this thing is amazing. It's just like it's like Kydex. See, it just clicks in there, nice and tight, not coming out, right? So a really nice little blade, and I'll have more information on that down below. I'll have contact information for the maker. You can go to his Instagram and contact him through there and his Facebook, um, and then he can set you up if you're really interested in this style of knife. Um, but you can tell it's a really quality piece, and I love supporting small knife makers and craftsmen here in the U.S. And this Fortis blade is really uh, beyond my expectations. I didn't expect this thing to be so so nice and so well put together um, just really clean lines clean work um, he does a nice job so thank you for that um, so we're gonna get into it today with this fire strip roll this is gonna be the first thing we're gonna try out this is from production hangar 51 um, they they come out with a lot of innovative fire starting products and um, from what I've seen on the web this one uh, does a pretty nice job and I'm I'm I want to try it out and see what it's like because I have no experience with this thing. Um, it's kind of a unique product because what you're doing is you, you have this, this impregnated kind of paper um, that uh, should take a spark or a flame very easily and then it should burn a long time. That's the whole point of it. Uh, but you can tell when you feel it, it has kind of a waxy feel to it. So we'll just get that opened up here. And I don't have any instructions with this. I bought this um, from Bushcraft, Bushcraft Outfitters um, on the web. See, it's kind of nice. You can kind of cut it to the size you need. Now, I don't know if I should be crumpling it, maybe. Maybe that's a way to break up that, that waxy surface on it so it uh, contacts the spark better. I think what we'll try is we'll try a, 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 a ferro rod first and see how that goes, okay? Oh, hunters are out. Not sure what's in season right now. Maybe might be duck or goose. 
This is my Zombie Tinder SAR 10. This has a ferro rod in it, plus some other man-made tenders. We've, I've done a review of these in the past. But we're gonna try this ferro rod out with it, if we can get it out of the tin. It has a sharpened spine. So I've kind of broken up the paper a little bit, roughed it up. I'm going to make a surface for my ferro rod to sit on. Yeah, this is a brand new ferro rod, so I might have to scrape off the coating a little bit. Here, let's try the Not going as planned. That happens, right? tape on this right here and actually I think most of my sparks are hitting the tape so let's flip it around on there but didn't take it didn't take the spark so let's try a lighter now maybe it's not supposed to be used with the fire still I don't know I don't know. I mean, it, it worked. It worked with uh, the lighter. did not work with my fire steel. That does not mean it does not work with a fire steel. I may not be doing it right. My fire steel is brand new. I'm ha I was having trouble producing sparks and having it throw sparks down. I'd like to try it with a different fire steel. Um, one that I know that works really well. One of my bigger ones. It could be just my technique. So I wouldn't use this as a negative. It's certainly burned um, pretty big, a pretty big flame, pretty hot. So, and for a pretty decent amount of time for that little bit of paper. Where I think this would really work out really well is, is if you have a pocket stove, like a fire ant or um, fire box or any of those kind of stoves. Those are always kind of hinky to get started. Um, because there's such a small space and they're hard to work in so you could take off a big strip of this fire roll crumple it all up stick that at the bottom like newspaper put your fire on top and then just stick a lighter in there and get it going 
Um, I think it would be a great fire starter for that. Um, you know, and then of course in an emergency, you wouldn't use that little of a paper. You'd use a lot of paper to get, a, to get wet wood going. So I think there's definitely potential for it. Uh, I'm not going to rule it out as a bad product just because of my poor technique and poor testing this morning. Um, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Definitely going to be worth more examination as the year goes on. All right, next up is this waxwood stick. High heat output fire starter. Let's see if there's instructions on this guy. The waxwood stick is made from selected premium wood with no knots in a consistent grain, made in Quebec, Canada. Keep out of reach of children. So there's the tag. Waxwood stick. And this feels like a block of wood. But it has kind of a waxy outer surface to it. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll see if we can maybe carve with it. Maybe make some feather sticks. Oh yeah. So this would be kind of a replacement for fat wood. If you don't want to carry a bunch of fat wood with you, you can carry something like this. It's a consistent size. You can also take the spine of my knife with this four display get some scrapings. Very slight sticky feel to it, almost like fat wood. This fine stuff is really what you want. try this fire steel again I'm not loving this thing but that's what I got to work with today almost really direct the there we go oh yeah that went right up Mm-hmm. Yep, good stuff. Works. It's weird, this fire steel, when I'm pressing down on it and trying to direct a spark this way, I can do it that, but when I have it pressed down against something, I'm getting more sparks coming up. But work this coating off of it. But 
All right. So the blade, um, I looked it up again. It's pronounced cochon, which is French for pig. Um, it is uh, eighth inch, and it's 80 CVR two steel. Uh, I hope I got that right. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm doing this from memory. Um, but a nice little knife. I really enjoy it. It's comfortable and it's super sharp. Very nice sharp blade. Spine didn't strike that fire steel very well, but the coating is still on that fire steel. It's fire steel is not, it's giving me troubles. So I'm not entirely happy with that. I gotta use a fire steel that I'm more comfortable with, but the knife did a nice job. So his information is on Instagram and Facebook, like I said before, I'll have that down below. So if you guys wanna get in contact with him and you're interested in purchasing one of these, um, they're very affordable. It's a nice little knife, like I said. Um, you can tell it's just it's quality made, U.S. made from an independent knife maker here in the U.S. So that's awesome.